choose settings. Then once you're here, make sure you're in the general tab on this left side and then choose network settings. Now, as you can see, I already did the steps I'm about to show you guys. So my NAT type is open and I'll show you guys how to make yours open as well. So the first thing you will do to open your NAT type is go on the right side here and choose test NAT type. Once you've done that, it'll say checking connection. And if you're in an Xbox party or you were in a game, it will disconnect you from that. So just letting you know. And once it's done checking the NAT type, it'll say whether it's moderate, strict, or open. Now, sometimes this does fix the problem, but if it still says moderate or strict, then just go ahead and press continue. And now for the next step, this is going to most likely fix your guys' NAT type issue. We're going to go down here into advanced settings. Now in here, the first thing we'll do is choose IP settings choose that and press automatic, then go down to DNS settings, choose that and do the same thing, press automatic, and then go down to alternate port selection, choose that and then press automatic. And then we'll go to the bottom option where it says QoS tagging settings. And then what you'll do is you'll enable these two options. Now what these two settings do is they actually prioritize your Xbox on your network. So let's say other people in your house are watching YouTube or Netflix or something. It's going to prioritize your Xbox so that you get the best internet connection out of the other devices. And then what you'll do is you'll select these two options and then press apply. And then it'll say you need to restart your console. So go ahead and do that. And now if we go back into our settings, we're going to go down here into advanced settings and now we're going to choose alternate mac address and then choose clear and then you're going to restart your console again and if your nat type is still moderate or strict there's one more step that should be able to fix your issue all you need to do is unplug the power from your xbox and unplug the power from your router and then plug them both back in after a minute or two and then that should change your nat type back to open 